Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am doing a craft shopping haul. I took a shop with me videos today at Michael's and Joanne's and I should be uploading at least one this week and then maybe the second one next week. Um, so you can follow me around and look at the different aisles and I also plan on going to Hobby Lobby and just kind of touring our Walmart shelves as well. So some of the stuff, a couple of things are from Walmart. So I'm going to start over here on the right. Uh, from Walmart I got peaches and cream uh, and cotton. I've been looking for a gray cotton because I want to add some red dye to it. So I picked up two dyes this morning. This one is tulip. This one, will, this one works on cotton and um, rayon and silk. So I'm going to try it on the cotton. And then I'm gonna ch I saw this, and I want to try it on the acrylic yarns that I have. So uh, we're gonna be I'm gonna be experimenting with this um, maybe within the next week or two because I, I really want to try and do um, a gradient yarn that I can't seem to find. So make it myself. I also got um, so I forgot to get headbands at Hobby Lobby, so I picked this one up at Target this morning. Um, at Hobby Lobby, I went yesterday and I got the L hook that I was missing of the um, acrylic crochet hooks. So I picked that up. I picked up two skeins of I Love This Yarn in Royal. These ones are actually being gifted to somebody, which, and I'm sending them out this week. I also got, so um, if you're starting out, you're going to start be printing your uh, patterns because there's a lot of free ones online and usually it's just easier to work off a printed copy rather than off your phone or off your computer, but I like to print mine out. So I got this nifty binder from Hobby Lobby on clearance, so I only got this for like $2.50. So I store all my patterns in binders, I think this is my fourth binder. So you can find some really cute ones. And I got Bejeweled Sequin in silver. I plan on pairing this with a yarn. Probably a gray yarn. Just to see how that's going to come out. And maybe a shawl or something. So I'm really excited about this. Um, also want to remind you to go online. Um, either before you go and print out the coupon or while you're there, if you have a smartphone, you can uh, have a 40% off coupon. Let me see. So here's my receipt and there's that 40% coupon. So remember to use those. Uh, then I went to Michael's. I'm trying to remember what I got where. So from Michael's, I got... Pound of Love from Lion Brand in the color Oxford Gray. This is over a thousand yards. I've been looking for gray to use on the synthetic dye. So, and I use Red Heart the heather gray a lot this one is actually this is my favorite gray but I thought I'd branch out try different brands see how they felt and how they worked up so that's the lion brand I also picked up a loops and threads let's see if I can pick this up without everything falling everywhere impeccable big 858 yards in the color Lavender. So Michaels also has coupons online and I use two of them today actually. And I got the Pound of Love $4 off and the Impeccable for $3 off. So remember your coupons. And then from Joann's I got another gray skin. I'm really into the color gray if you haven't noticed. Karen one pound in the color medium gray mix 
And this one's 812 yards. Um, this one was also $10. They also have a coupon. Um, I guess it didn't um, apply to the yarn. But I also got <coughs> these. These threads. Which you can also pair with your yarn as you're working them up. And it will give any yarn that you have a shimmer. So you don't actually have to buy so if you're looking for this gray color and you're looking to buy it in the store with a shimmer in it, you're probably not going to find it. I do know actually Karen, I think Simply Soft, has one. But if you can't find that, you can always buy the thread from Joann's and add it yourself. So this one's a lavender. This one's an opalescent. Camera's not focusing real well. And then this is the silver. I got those today. I got a whole bunch of these. That's what I got in the stores today. So a couple of things that I'm working on. Um, I mentioned in the Michaels video that I got the purple, the lavender for a project I'm working on. The lavender, which I will probably pair with this lavender sparkle thread in a smaller project. So I'm actually working on, I'm actually writing up a shawl pattern at the moment. So this is what it looks like so far. So I should have this pattern written and published in Ravelry uh, by next weekend, by the coming weekend. So this is what I'm working on. And then one other project I'm working on is... A mermaid if I can find her so she is still missing I am working on her arms right now and then I'll be on to her hair and face but this is one of my whips right now I'm so excited to finish her and she actually came from a pattern that you can find in Etsy I will leave the link below let me see find this one page it's actually this pattern right here and that's where you can find it I did some modifications just teeny tiny ones and you can find those notes on uh, Ravelry but she's what I'm working on I have a ton of other projects that I'm working on um, these project bags that you see behind behind the yarn and the binder so that purple bag right there has Aish, I think one or two shawls in it. Uh, the blue Joann's bag on the left, that one has uh, a temperature afghan in it. Um, they also have, I don't know where it is. It might be up, it might be right to there. I have a, I have a skull shawl where I'm working on in there. Um, there's a lot of shawls. And the blanket. Um, I do have a doll that looks somewhat like these, about halfway done, and it's been halfway done for probably two years. So I have a lot of works in progress that I have not even begun to finish, and I'm starting new projects. But you will learn that's just how it goes. So that's my haul for today. Um, I will be publishing the the shop with me's uh, later this week. Uh, so just so you know, it was kind of awkward filming in the store by myself, talking to myself. So it feels a little awkward. It was because it was. Uh, but other than that, I hope you enjoy them, and I will talk to you next weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.